guys, welcome back. Zarud Sharma here, and uh, I'm talking about a pretty interesting question, which I want you to first look at and pause this video and try to solve it on your own before we start looking at the solution of this. So here, the, here's the question for you. Take your time solving it. So now that we have seen the question, uh, let's look at the, uh, at the mechanics of this question. The question tells us that there is this confused bank teller who has transposed the rupees and the paise amounts for shelter. So, so what that means is if there is a check of 12 rupees 34 paise, he has given her 34 rupees 12 paise. That's what happens when you transpose the rupees and Paise amounts amongst each other. Now the clue given, next clue given to, to, to us here is after this transposition, when Shelja spends 50 paise, she would be left with exactly three times the amount of the check. So if you try to solve this question through any conventional methods, I'm quite sure, and, and if you have stopped this video earlier and tried to do it on your own, I'm quite sure you would have struggled to do this. And you obviously have options for the amount with 13 to 14, 7 to 8 in terms of the rupees, 22 to 23, 18 to 19, and 4 to 5. The question is asking us between which range was the actual check. So if we start th trying to think about this, let's say we start picking up an option and we we try to avoid writing the algebra and this because it's quite clear that the algebra is going to be quite, quite complicated. So if the check was 13 rupees something, the check would look something like this. 13 rupees sometimes it could be 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, up to 9, 9. But when you start thinking about how much paisa it would be, you realize that the other condition tells you that if you reverse this check value, you transpose this check value, rupees and paise, and then you spend 50 paise, you get to a value which is three times the original value. And that tells you that okay, three times the original value for 13 rupees to 14 rupees, three times the original value should be between 39 to 42 rupees. Which means the transposed value here cannot be, the paise value cannot be 0, 1, 0, 2. Just as it cannot be 99 because if a check of 1399 is transposed, you get 99 rupees 13 paise. And after spending 50 paise, I'm quite sure you realize that that's not going to give you the three times jump that you want in terms of the value of the check. So you, a little bit of introspection at this point will tell you that the only numbers to consider is 1339, 1340, 1341, and maybe 1342. That's the range because 14 rupees will give you a 42 rupee triple, triple and 13 rupees will give you a 39 rupees triple. Now, if you think this way, you are down to four values for the first option. Now, when you start solving, looking for the next step, what do you do? You say, okay, okay let me try to check whether 13, 39 works. And of course, if you, when you are starting this, you will realize that you will have to do this 5 times over and you have to be ready to do this 5 times over. So for example, for 22 rupees, you will have 22 to 66, 22 to 67, 22 to 68 and 22 to 69. You will have 4 values there. So you will be ready, you will have to be ready to do it 20 times. And hence, when you are trying to solve through values and options, you try to build shorter, shorter shortcuts or shorter processes. So the same thing and then get them faster. But while doing that sort of processes, you don't preempt solving it the first step. So what you do here is, with that awareness, okay, I'm going to do this 20 times, if I want to self get this answer. You first try to look at what is happening here. So you start looking at 30, 30, 39. This becomes 39, 30. And after spending 50 paise, which means 0.5 rupees, the ending value is 38, 63. 
And you can clearly see that 1339 into 3 does not give you this answer. So the question says that the original value multiplied by 3 gave the same answer as this root. Now, obviously, this is not the right answer then. Then you start checking 1340, 1341, but rather than going blindly about it, you just start analyzing what has happened. You can start to look at look at a completely different way of looking at this at this option check. And that way is that if you look at 1339 and you triple it, you get a value. The problem is telling us that if I transpose this to 39.13 and then subtract, I should get the same value. Subtract 50 by I should get the same value. The third is same. Now do a unit digit analysis at this point. If you do a unit digit analysis at this point, what you realize is that the unit digit so this root is 9 3 is up 27. So there has to be a 7 coming from this root in the unit digit. And from this root, it's quite clear 13 minus 0 is going to give me a 3. So there is no unit digit match in this question, in this value. And hence this value won't work. Even if the other digits match, you're quite guaranteed that this is not the answer. And hence, before moving on, you will then work out that you actually do not need to solve all this if you start understanding it in this form that the unit digit through this root is basically coming through the unit digit of this multiplied by this and the unit digit through this root is coming from this 3 but this 3 is coming from this 3 so next time you are checking 13.39 you just check whether multiplying this by 3 gives you the same value and it does not. And hence 1339 won't work. And if you then move to 1340 and you use the same process, thus multiplying the unit digit give me 3. Because one root of getting the unit digit here is getting this value multiplied by 3. The other root is that this goes into the unit digit and that comes here. And you can quite clearly see that 1340 is not giving me an answer. And likewise, 1342, 2, 3 is a 6 does not give me 3. But 1341 does give me a unit digit match. So I need to check at 1341, does, do I get a tripling of the value? So 1341 is a value I need to check. The others do not have a unit digit match. So 1341 becomes 4130. If I subtract 50 paise, I get 4063. And I can realize that this value is not triple of this because triple of 1341 is 40, 40, 23. So you're close to the answer, but this is not the answer. The moment you reject 1341, you reject this option. So the option 13 to 14 is gone, it won't work. Now let's come to the 7 to 8 option. What values do you think you should put for 7 to 8? I'm quite sure you're, you're, you're yourself not telling me 721, 722, 723, and 724. Is there a unit digit match here? Can't happen because you need a 7 there. Anything into 3 will never give you a 7. So this can't be the answer. It's a 5 second check. You go to 22 rupees. With 22, 66 won't work. 22, 67, 7 threes are does not give me 2. 22, 68, 8 threes are 4 does not give me 2. 22, 69, 9 threes are 7 does not give me 2. So 22, 23 is gone, another 10 second check. And then you come to 18, 19. And with 18, you spot 18, 54, 18, 55, 18, 56, and 18, 57. The 4 into 3 does not give me an 8. So this is not giving me an unit digit equality. 5 into 3 does not give me an 8, does not give me an unit digit equality. 6 into 3 gives me an 8. So I'm getting unit digit equality at 1856. So I need to look at that and see whether the numbers match. So I realize that if I look at 1856, I triple it. I get 57, sorry, 55, 68. And so the other route, if I transpose the rupees and pesos, I get 5618 and I subtract 50 pesos from that, and I get the same value. And the correct answer is 1856 and then the correct option 
is that the value on the check must be 80 to 90. And this is a one one and a half minute solution for a question which normally people will take even 4-5 minutes and not solve it. Right? I hope you enjoyed this session and I'll come back with more. Thanks a lot. Do hit the subscribe button and do like our pages on Facebook etc. Thank you so much.